Hi there, welcome to another unboxing video by theplayersaid.com. Uh, my name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at Victory Point Games' Habsburg Eclipse. And this is also uh, designed by Darren uh, Leveloff, who also did Ottoman Sunset. This is that game's sister game, so they call it. This is a standalone solitaire game from the States of Siege series. A lot of S's, a lot of sibilants right there. But you can play it together with Ottoman Empire as a co-op, or just as a big solitaire game. So we're going to take a look at what's inside this as a standalone game, and then we'll take a look comparing the two of them and how they work together a little bit. So let's just take the wrapping off. This is one of their small box games. Comes in a little sleeve, and you've got the pizza box style red box of fun. And we'll take a look at the rule book. This is a very standard rule book for their States of Siege series. It's actually, these are pretty decent rule books because there's there's very little components wise in the game. There's only one sheet of counters, only half a sheet, and then there's a map board. There's not like a ton to keep track of. So you can actually just flick through and like, oh that's the counter I'm looking for, here's the rules for that. Oh here's the thing. I found that when I was playing Zulus of the Rampart on the Ramparts, you could just the, the rule book's so short and concise, you can visually identify almost everything and they do a really good job of laying that out here. So this is the rule book there. We have a deck of cards. Really, really like the artwork on the back of these. With the Habsburg crest on the back. I know that's awesome. Those look great. The cards themselves are chock full of information. Again, they go through the phases of the game, so you'll have an effect with what the card does. Then you'll tell you which of the fronts advance. Then they'll have a particular trigger for an event here and then it tells you how many actions that you have. So you've got three actions down here, two actions. An action economy is the biggest part of the States of Siege game. You'll have multiple fronts coming at you and then you get to do two things to try and mitigate all of the stuff that's being thrown at you. And like I mentioned in the Ottoman Sunset video, each one of these cards has a, a good chunk of text on them to help give you historical background more about what's going on, because I'm going to be honest, the level of detail of which I know the, the geopolitical side of the Austro-Hungarian part of World War I, I I'm not that up, uh, up to date with that kind of stuff. So these games actually teach me and help me to learn more about what the game's trying to portray, and I really, really enjoy that, and I'm glad that designers and publishers are putting more of that in their games. We've got a couple of green dice here. We also have the board. And if you've played Ottoman Sunset, this is going to look very, very familiar to you, even from a color scheme standpoint. So you've got the um, Austro-Hungarian Empire here, you have you know, Germany, and then you're going to go down to the Baltic states down here. You've got tracks with which they're going to be coming to coming to get you. It looks like you've got Budapest and Vienna here. You're trying to defend and, and hold off the enemy as long as possible. And, keep your empire intact through the end of the war and all of that time um, you're trying to get aid from the Germans who are going to slowly be trying to take more power away from you and they're going to try and take control so there's a lot to lot to take care of in this game and I'm, I'm very excited to play this one these games usually play very quickly and I think that's also a big positive for me there's some advertising in the box 100 Days 20 is part of their Napoleonic 20 series there's a really interesting and quick playing uh, Napoleonic Hex and Chip game. You don't have to get bogged down in a lot of stuff. It plays very simply. So, this is the counter sheet. It's a small, it's a half sheet compared to kind of normal size games. And just look at the, look at the vibrancy of the colors on these. That's something I really love. I, I just, I can't speak highly enough about these. The level of detail printed on these. And I know that that comes from their, um, from the particular printer that they use, and they just do they do such a good job with those. I think the last bit in the box, so you've got wipes to wipe off those counters, is the counters come with a bit of residue around them when you uh, punch them, and that's just that's just due, due to how they're made. So you can wipe wipe those off, and they provide you with that, which is nice. These are jigsaw style board pieces, so you can put this together 
you know, if you don't have plexiglass to put this under, you can just put this together. This is just a much uh, more convenient for probably a lot more people, especially if you're new to wargaming and you don't have a big sheet of plastic lying around. So this is the kind of the deluxe version of the board that they include in the game for you. So that's everything that comes in Habsburg Eclipse. And I'm going to put the game side to side so we can kind of see what compare a bit and how they're going to look together. So these are the two map boards side by side. Um, from, a, from a graphical standpoint, they are slightly different in the scale. So if you look here, you've got Serbia is the small little bit here. And then down here, you've got Serbia is much bigger. And so they don't necessarily line up geographically, but you can play them together. And actually, in the Habsburg Eclipse rules, you've got the two-player combined effects table that give you all these updated rules to play them together. And that's something that I, I think is just really cool that they did that. And they give you rules for how it how it plays differently that's all of this stuff here the different victory conditions and how the boards interact with each other so you're not sitting there just playing two different games they actually play off of each other another tiny little thing to look at which I just thought I'd point out is these are the counters from Ottoman Sunset and these are the ones from Habsburg Eclipse so they're slightly you know, slightly different color palettes so like this is a bit more vibrant and we'll look a little bit closer graphically They've got slightly different typefaces being used here, and that's just a you know a production choice that they've gone with. But that's just something to bear in mind as well. They're not kind of they're not exactly the same. There's slight slight differences in them, but really they'll be excellent to play together. And I'm excited because I think it's just a creative way to bring more games together and to give you a different gaming experience out of your solitaire gaming. Because this can be played, I can do both of these and just do a big solitaire, or I can play with someone and we can do this as a co-op. I think that's really neat to see that companies are doing that kind of thing. So that was everything in Habsburg Eclipse, and then I'll look at both of these together. So thank you very much for watching.